Right, it's always some, something. Thank you, John. Well, today it is back to the books for Pittsburgh Public School students. They're making their return with actually a new superintendent in charge. Brian Reed joins us live outside Pittsburgh Capital with more on what families need to know heading into the new year. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Heather and David. Of course, we all know that first that first of day, uh, first day of school feeling. Excuse me. We all have our clothes lined up on the bed, the shoes on the floor. It's really an exciting uh, time for just about everybody: students, parents, as well as teachers. And it's especially an exciting time for uh, Pittsburgh Kappa Principal Melissa Perlman, who I actually have here with me at this time. And Melissa, I just want to say thank you for joining us. And I want to ask you, how exciting is the first day of school as well as, you know, any possible uh, challenges that you all may have to deal with going through that first week? I love the first day of school, seeing all of our students come back. They're happy, they're smiling, they're thinking about new beginnings. And for us as an art school, it's really about just celebrating why they come to us, being able to create art, make music, dance, sing, write, paint and draw. It's something that we've been a little limited with the last couple of years. So just being able to celebrate students as they come in and just wide open smiles, hugs, celebrations of joy, bringing them back for the school year. Fantastic. And so what's it like kind of uh, trying to get everybody acclimated that, that first week? I know it can be difficult for some, for some, not only students, but parents also. It's about support, right? Making sure that students know where they're supposed to go, when they're supposed to be there, who their support people are. For our sixth graders, we really try and really hold their hands, right? Give them every opportunity to ask questions, know where to go, understand the dynamic of what it means to be in middle school. All those exciting times, it's really about making sure they know that we're here to support them. We're here to make sure that they're successful. And even when they're not, we're here to pick them up and make sure that they can just um, keep at it and have fun at school. And uh, last question here, you know, the talk is always about the, the mask policy. Pittsburgh Public Schools recently changed it. So uh, what are you hearing from parents and how do you, you all go about that uh, throughout the year? You know, it's really about choice, right? I feel like it's important for parents and students to have the choice to mask or not mask when the levels are low and medium. I think our district has done a remarkable job of making vaccinations readily available for families who choose to get that. And it's really just making sure that we keep the health and safety of all of our students at the forefront and giving people choice on how to do that. Fantastic. Principal Perlman, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. And uh, later on today, uh, the superintendent, Dr. Wayne Walters, is going to be at Brashear High School welcoming students. He's going to be there along with Mayor Ed Ganey, and we are going to be there also talking to both of them and hearing how they feel about the first day of school and heading into a no new school year. Make sure to stick with KDKA because we are your back to school station and we will be bringing you the latest back to, back to school information. Reporting on Brian Reed, KDKA News. Brian, thanks so much. And as he just mentioned, we are your back to school station. We have more on how local districts are welcoming students back, plus a list of ways to start the new school year off successfully. All of that is at kdka.com.